Hey guys, so it's Leah, your Sunday here. This week's theme on Seven Group of Girls Zero is characters, but I was having a little trouble trying to figure out which character to choose to interview for this video. So I had a little help from my step cousin in law, twice removed, something like that. But because she's like an expert book reader or character or something. So I interviewed her and had her help and it ended up being okay, but she's a little um different. She does things a little differently. So sorry about that. Sit right uh here or a seat because there's I know that just an inch can affect how the camera sees me, so do you want me to sit here or here? Because, you know, you need to be more specific for me. Here. So do I look at you or the camera? The camera? Can somebody cover up that red light? It's distracting me. My name is Doc. Right at camera. My name is Doctor Watcher Matcha. I am an expert book reader, character judger, hula hooping, popcorn popping, cartwheeling dancer. I also train elephants and hippos in the great outback, and I've ridden camels. I I love cats. I'm an expert reader and a firm alien UFO believer. I um enjoy the color blue and I have a fish. Okay, so today I've been told that her theme on Seven Guppy Girls Zero is characters and as being an expert book reader character person I've decided that I will show you guys my special alien slash character pick a device. Okay, so you might be wondering what this is for but it's really quite an expert device. So you put this on your face and try to flatten it down a little, though make sure this part's sticking up. Oh, okay. So we take this um, mysterious device. Um, she tells me it's an iPod. I have no idea what those are technology these days. Um, here, can you figure this out? This out for me. It's um. I need you to get to the generator 1307. It's an app, I believe. It's just connect it with our minds and our souls. And it generates a character. Um... Don't distract me. Um... Okay, we've got a character. a character in the book The Girl Who Could Fly. Piper McCloud. I'm Piper McCloud. Um, I live on Lowland County um, with my mom and my pa. We live on our family farm and I love it here. Um, so pretty much our town, it's full of kids my age, though I never really saw them much. I didn't go to school with all the other kids, though that's what I really wanted to do. My parents homeschooled me, and our family was always considered a bit different. We My special story? Well, I can fly. Ever since I was a baby, I'd been floating, and most of the time that was all I could really do, float. My parents, like I said, my mom hates change or anything different and they didn't exactly support the idea of me flying. They didn't want me to fly anywhere or around anyone. Um, but I really wanted to teach myself how to fly, so I started secretly practicing in our backyard. It was awesome. I love flying. Yeah, I wear this because it can get pretty cold in the sky. I was sent off to this institution, a school tech sort of, where I could learn, where I could learn and there were other kids there too. Lots of kids with powers like me. Not all of them could fly, but some could run super fast or have super strength, or one was even a genius. You know, I think it's probably a good time to end the interview. Thanks.
thanks for interviewing me and make sure to stop by sometime. We could go flying together or something. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. See you guys next week on 7 Group Girl Zero. Bye.